Hi everybody. So I am working today in my office and I am working on um, this week's mindfulness moments and I get a phone call from someone who I haven't spoke to in a while and really wasn't the best phone call. We all have those people in our lives who call when they need or want something and this was one of those calls and afterwards I found myself beginning to feel frustrated with this person who is family so I recognize they're harder to deal with for sure than most friends or acquaintances or those types of things. So I really believe that things happen for a reason and so I said to myself and I offer this advice to you what's the lesson in this what can I learn from this and what values am I putting out there that this person feels as though they can just call me when they want something and I really had to take some time to go within to reevaluate the relationships, to see how I contributed to this dis ease in my life, um, so I could get to the bottom of what was important. And yes, this person is family, um, particularly close family, like it's a brother. <laughs> and I basically decided that. I would call him back and let him know that if he wants to call and check in and see how my life is going and wants to contribute or enhance my life in some capacity, then he's more than welcome to do that. However, if he's only going to call when he wants something, then I really don't need that energy in my life. And he was not happy. He hung up on the phone, hung up the phone on me. Um, but what I realized is I have to be true to myself and I have to be willing to persevere through uncomfortable situations and practice patience and understanding and compassion, not only for my family member, but for myself. And part of that is setting healthy boundaries. And so today, I just thought I'd offer you the ability to reflect upon your own life. Who do you reach out to for help when you're unable to resolve something for yourself? Um, what are you doing to ensure that your relationships are positive and uplifting and that you are getting your needs met and you are also providing something of benefit to somebody else to enhance their life. Relationships are a give and take and sometimes I think in this overstimulated world we often forget that. So finally um, I challenge you to consider what exercises can you do to calm the frustration that often pops up in our lives and I think it's important I know not all of my viewers are in recovery, but especially for those in recovery, frustration is a big trigger. So what exercises can you do to calm the frustration that you feel sometimes so that you prevent relapse? For those of you who are not in recovery, maybe it's so you prevent burnout. Maybe it's so you prevent bringing negative energy into your life that you don't need, want, nor desire. So I just thought I would leave you with that. Um, which is there's value in even the most frustrating situations if we're willing to look within. Take care.